Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to be back. Um, it was a much needed break. I think there was a lot going on these past, you know, since March and so many unknowns and so many crazy things going on. Um, it was just nice to breathe and settle down. We also moved in my in-laws, so that's fun. Um, they are now living in Chattanooga with us and it is so fun to have them here. Um, so anyways, today uh, I'm gonna show you a very easy, loose wave that you can wear all summer long, especially being in humidity now. I find that the looser, more simplistic hairstyles are the things that work the best out here. So if you are new here, I am so happy that you're here. Please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Most of you guys came from Instagram, but if you haven't, my Instagram is Chloe and Brown and you can go ahead and follow me over there. Um, Woo! <laughs> my hair is definitely something else. So whenever I blow dry my hair before bed, like with a round brush, this is just what it looks like in the morning. Tons of flip out everywhere. I feel like I need a little bit more layers and then I could definitely be in the 90s, early 2000s. Okay, so I did this hairstyle on my Instagram. I haven't been on Instagram much lately, haven't been on YouTube lately, but when I was <laughs> this past week, this is the hairstyle that I did and you guys loved it. I got so many recommendations on how to do a very loose, barely there curl um, with the longer hair and I did it with a flat iron. The trick was for me to get everything underneath straight. So that's what I'm gonna do. I parted my hair halfway. I'm gonna straighten everything here. And I just put my, let's see, it's at 330. So this is the Croc New Classic Infrared. This is the one and a half inch. Highly recommend one and a half inch. Um, even if you do have shorter hair, it just makes everything so much easier. A lot quicker and it curls really good. So I am not, um, doing anything at the root because I want that volume to be there. But we are gonna go in here and just flat iron all these ends. It doesn't have to be perfect on this one because you're gonna have that curl going right on top of this. You, do, you don't want it to be like stick straight, but you definitely want to get the slip out out of there. Now, if you have um, thicker hair, I would suggest maybe doing this in two sections. I'm just being lazy today, so I just am kind of lightly passing through a lot of hair. Okay, now we're gonna section this part up here, maybe like one section and then another, maybe even three times. Um, I sometimes do the top section like very small sections, so I get a lot of definition up there um, and more control. So the smaller sections that you take and the tinier pieces that you pick up to curl or flat iron, uh, the tighter the curl will be, the more you'll have control over what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna flat iron these bottom pieces just like that, one pass through, and then all I'm gonna do up here is I'm gonna take the flat iron, kinda do it at an angle, and then just let it drop a very loose curl, mostly straight at the end. I'm gonna do the same over here. Now I like putting my flat iron upside down just in the front pieces so I get a better angle of exactly how I want it to lay. I want to know exactly where the curl is going to go. I, I like more control on this side. So don't be afraid to go upside down with your curling iron. Um, I'm right-handed, so that's kind of what I do. And then when I just go for these back further sections, I don't really worry about it. But um, I still go at an angle. I don't go straight up and down. So I wanna go with the curvature of my face. Flat iron the end. Now I, like I said, I'm using 330 degrees. I don't want these to be tight curls, but honestly, this is, this is the temperature I use all the time for all of my curls, um, or even when I'm flat ironing my hair. I don't like to use high heat, and um, if I just want everything sleeker or straighter or tighter curls, I just go a little bit slower. So I am going back and forth. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I'll go, you know, alternating and sometimes I'll just do one section back. I don't know, it just, it kind of depends on what I'm looking for. I want everything to be pretty equal on each side. Now I get a ton of questions where it's like, okay, we get how you do the front of your hair, how do you do the back of your hair? 
honestly the same exact way I do the front of my hair. So I'll just split it down the middle and then curl everything back towards each other and then meet in the middle. There's no special way of doing it. And then I just look at my hair at the very last, like when I'm all done, and then I'll see if anything needs to be tweaked. All right, so that's that on that side, even the back included. And then it feels like I have about one or two more curls on this side for this back side. There we go. So everything is straight at the bottom. Now, if you feel, see this piece right, oh, sorry, hiccup. You feel, you see this piece, how it's kind of like sticking out. If something is sticking out like that, take it, take your flat iron and kind of bend it towards your head. And then that little bend will make it go away. So with this section again, I am just gonna flat iron these ends. Now with those front pieces, go ahead, pull them forward. I like to go upside down on this side, make that curl right there. I like those to just lay right on the edge of my eyebrow. And then if you need to flat iron that piece to just go exactly where you want it. Same thing with this side, flat iron the end, pull it forward, make it go right, right at your eyebrow. I just like those face framing pieces right there. Okay, next section, curl and then release, very light, and then curl that into your hair if you need to. So I'm leaving a good two inches uncurled at the end. I just really want this to just be loose, beach wavy. I like these, especially now that I live in humid climates. Um, the looser the curl here, the better it lasts throughout the day, I find. And using a flat iron to curl or, you know, put some type of wave in my hair seems to last better as well out here. Now, for these top sections, I don't like to uh, flat iron the ends first. I like to put that curl in there, see where it's laying, and then if I need to add a tiny bit of a curl towards my head, I will do that. It is looking good. I'm very happy with this. Now, you can, I've been really, now that my hair is longer, I've been really enjoying it parted down the middle, but you can do this with a side part as well. So, I'm gonna curl that. So just focus that curl right in the midsection, let it go and then straighten those ends. So I'm doing this, I'm gonna face frame, bring it down a little bit and straighten it out. I like these pieces up front not to be too curly. Um, I find that when they're too curly, they kind of just go in my face or like right in my eye and it doesn't frame my face very well. So just make these a little lighter or looser. <laughs> there we go, perfect. Now, if you feel like maybe you slept on your hair and there's a little lump or something, just take your flat iron, go right to the scalp, and just, there you go, it's out. Right. We are almost done. So this is a hairstyle that looks really good for blunt haircuts. Um, I really like that choppiness in there. That is what I'm gonna do for my next haircut is just get it very blunt and choppy. Um, that's something that I haven't had before. Most of my things have just, most of my haircuts have been very, very textured and like cut to lay as a bob. But now that I have I a lob <laughs> haircut, um, I can definitely get it more choppy. Um, so I'm very excited for that. If you want texture or lift at your roots, go ahead and just do that. I just, honestly, I just do it just to, just to add a little something. I find that when I tease just the top section of my roots, my hair doesn't get oily um, as quick. So I'm able to go three days without washing my hair. Even if I don't want a lot of body. I'll still do it. Okay. So now, Ooh, hello grays. My grays are coming in guys. I don't know if I'm going to hide them or cover them up. We'll see. We shall see. If you feel that your hair is a little bit dry, Palm Witcher Super Skinny Serum. My hair doesn't feel dry, but I'm going to just show you what I do. I literally just put the tiniest bit, rub it all on my fingertips, just like this and run it through the ends of my hair just to seal it and add that shininess to it. 
That is, I think, the most affordable way because the, the Paul Mitchell uh, serum lasts so long, so might as well use it for literally everything that you need. And then kind of come in here and tame these to go in the front. I like to add some light hold hairspray. Pinch these at the front, just like this. That way they are sprayed there and they will stay. Now, if you want texture all throughout your hair, go ahead and add some texture hairspray uh, just for separation and that like gritty, you know, lived in look. But honestly, I'm thinking that today I don't, I don't need it. I don't want it, I don't need it. So what I'm gonna do is just add light hold hairspray all the way around, a very light. And then if you want some tees up here, lift it up and then spray. You can also use some texture powder. Uh, Sexy Hair has a really good one. Aveda has a really good one as well. So you can just kind of, you know, spray. They have like the pump ones or kind of put that in there and then lift up at the roots if you feel like you need a little bit of lift at the root. Um, another trick is, is if you don't want to buy texture powder, you can always use some dry shampoo too and just kind of spritz that right in there um, and then add that separation as well. Something that I've learned, I also shared on my stories the other day, for humidity resistant, say you're going to the pool or whatever, use this waterproof spray. Um, this is zero hold, it's just a humidity resistant spray from Sexy Hair, and I will just spray that all over, just like that. It's like you didn't even put anything in your hair, but it really helps with the humidity. So this is a hairstyle that will last me three days. So on the first day, I'll wear it like this. Second day, I'm gonna toss my, whoa, what happened? What is that? Ugh. Uh, I'll toss my bangs over, do something like this. And then the, on the third day, I'll probably go back to the middle part and then wear like a half up, half down with like a scrunchie or clips or top knot back here. <laughs> All right, and if you guys are interested in purchasing a flat iron, um, I highly suggest this one. This is the one and a half inch flat iron from Croc. This is the new classic infrared. Yes, new classic infrared. I've had this for almost 10 years now. Absolutely love it. It's my ride or die. And I highly suggest the one and a half inch, not the one inch. It curls fantastic. So uh, I do have a discount code. It's Chloe30 for 30% 30 off. And the link down below will be in the description. <sighs> it is weird to be back. I haven't been behind a camera in a long time. Um, it's it's definitely been a month, maybe even more. Um, and, and at that, I was just doing simple things just to kind of, you know, get by. But um, I think everybody's needed a break. It just felt weird to come on. And um, so I think I'll be back posting content. Honestly, I just haven't been feeling creative. Um, I've been trying to stay grounded and off social media and kind of not even think about things that I need to do. Um, so it's been nice to just have a break and focus internally and uh, like I said, stay grounded with my family and just, um, and I've had to homeschool. Homeschool is very different. <laughs> Not used to that. So um, I haven't had like dedicated time to where I could like film and do work because my daughter's not at school anymore. So I just kind of, everything's just been a blur. <laughs> I'm sure you can all understand. So it is really good to be back. I miss you guys and I love you.